Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the Kev Techify Nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to look at the IPv6 Global Unique Address Assignment. We'll be discussing IPv6 host configuration, IPv6 host link local address, IPv6 Global Unique Address Assignment, and finally, the three router advertisement message flags. This episode is part of my series on switching routing and wireless essentials. I'm Kevin here at Kev Techify. Let's get this adventure started. To assign an IP version 6 address on a host, on a router, you use the IPv6 space address and then space, and then you put the IP version 6 address with the prefix at the end. You can do, use that on a router. In a Windows system, you can go ahead, you can type in that IP version 6 address. Right here, you can see typing in all that information. It's, it's a, it can be confusing, or not necessarily confusing. After you type it in, you're probably going to have some typos. I know I change numbers. I, I fat finger a key and I hit another key. So I have additional numbers and I have to go back and correct it. It's a lot of work. You got to do the IP version six address. You have to do the default gateway. You have to put in that DNS server. And so there's methods to automatically configure that. And that's what we're going to look at is the IP version six way of automatically getting an address. For IP version six, when the computer first turns on, it generates a link local address. Right here is our link local address. A lot of times it's referred to as the LLA, link local address. It generates it. How you can tell this is a link local address is it starts off with FE80. FE80 signifies that this is a link local address in there. Now the percent sign here at the end what that signifies is that's like the zone ID or the scope ID. And that's used by the operating system to associate that this link local address with a specific interface. And so that's how we can tie this link local address to a specific interface is using this zone ID or scope ID. Now we didn't get a global unicast address. This field right here is blank. It didn't have didn't get a global unicast address because there was no router on our local segment, our LAN, to tell us how to set up our global unicast address. When we look at for the IP version 6 global unicast address, there's a couple ways we can do that. Typically it, it comes down to a stateful and a state list assignment. State list like we have right here, this is where nobody's keeping track of the address and the information and who gets what address there. It's, it's generated, it's assigned, and there's no record of it anywhere. State full is where there's a server actually keeping track of that information. And so somewhere there's a database that says this address, this address, and this address is used most of the time there's a pool that's associated and say these addresses are available, keeps track of all that. State list, there's no record of it. State list, there is a record of that. As we look here, all of these methods use router advertisements. These router advertisements, they send messages on how your IP version six device should set up configure or generate their global unicast address. When we use Slack only, and once again, this is stateless, stateless address auto configuration. That's what this is here. They use information exclusively for their addressing, including creating their own global unicast address. Also with stateless, we can use Slack, and that was the stateless address auto configuration again with a DHCP server. And what happens here is there's a router advertisement that gets sent out and then it says, okay, host, generate your own global unicast address, but also contact the DHCP server for additional information. So first step, they generate, they create their own global unicast address. 
and then they contact the DHCP server for additional information. And that's where we get the slack with the DHCP server. Now, once again, nobody's keeping track of who has what addresses, but there is a server out there that has maybe some additional information there. And then our stateful. Once again, our stateful starts off with another router advertisement. And basically that router advertisement says, okay, now contact the DHCP version six server and get all of your information. All of your information will be on that server, including what address, what IP version six address you can use. In the router advertisement messages, there's three flags that is being used to help set up our IP version six address. It's the A flag, the O flag, and the M flag. The A flag, if it's set, it says, okay, use some sort of auto configuration, automatic auto configuration to set up your IP address. The O flag is the other flag that there's additional information on a DHCP version six server. So A flag was generate your own global unicast address. O is there's additional information available on another server. The M flag is a is 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 for managed address configuration, meaning contact a server and you will get all of your information. And so what we see here is these three flags are typically all set in some sort of patterns. If just the A flag is set, so right here we have the A flag that's set all the rest of them are not set. And what I mean by set is a one, not set is zero. If it's just the A flag that's set, we're going to use our stateless address auto configuration. We're gonna generate our own global unicast ad address to, for IP version six. Now, another combination we see is the A flag is set and the O flag is set. Once again, we're gonna generate our own global unicast address, but then there's other information available on a DHCP version six server. So generate your own IP address, your own IP version six global unicast address, and also contact this DHCP version six server to get some additional information. The M flag is not set. And the last one we have here is the M flag is set. So the M flag is one and they have the O flag is zero. The M flag that manage address configuration is when that is set in our router advertisement, it means go out, contact that DACP version six server and get all of your information, get your global unicast address and any other additional information it has to offer. When this is set, the A flag is not set. That That's set to zero. It's not set there. What I also get, a, I find amusing is a lot of times when people talk about this, they don't mention the O flag at this point in time. Once again, remember that O flag means there's other configurations available from a stateless DHCP version six server. If, if that is set to a one, that means you have to contact the server. Well, the M flag already says contact the server, get all the information. If it's set to a zero, that means don't contact another server to get your information, which contradicts that. And what happens here is the M flag overwrites this O flag if for some reason it's set. It was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on IPv6 global unique address assignments. If you like this episode and you got value out of it, and of course, depending upon what platform you're using, please click that like button, give a five-star rating, leave a comment. This all helps me bring you more great content. Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. All of my socials and contact information are on my website, devtechify.com. You can get all these episodes in video and podcast form. In the upper right is my playlist for my series on switching, routing, and wireless essentials. In the bottom right is one of my favorite videos that I linked just for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my series on switching, routing, and wireless essentials. Once again, I'm Kevin. This is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.